Hello and uh, welcome to Daniel doing videos on this game here, capsized. I've got Jake with me. Say hello. hello Jake. Yeah, uh, except he's not in the game, he's just in my no. Skype. So let's I have it though. Yeah, he has it as well. Uh, let's jump straight into this. As you can see, I've already gotten quite a bit into the campaign, but I'm just gonna start mission one, just to uh, show you guys what this game is about. Actually, the music's very, very loud. Very loud. Yeah. Might want to turn it down. I oh, will. It, it's actually extremely loud now that I think about it. Um. Uh, have you a finger? What's it, me bobs? Like all the uh, sounds on it, like the actual gunshots, and as loud as the music. Like the music seems to dominate yeah. the whole sound. So you can see, uh, pretty lovely looking graphics. You've got your gun here. You've got this little grappling hooky thing. Um. This is a puzzle platformer side scrolling thingy, my Bob. If you've played like, you know, Metroid, the old Metroid stuff like that, you should be familiar with this, and uh, ah, this little buggy thing. I'm just gonna shoot him. So yeah, I'll be doing a series, I'm not sure how many videos I'll be doing on this, but I'll be doing a series on this. Uh a few single player missions definitely, maybe the challenge modes, there's a couple cool like arcade modes like uh, deathmatch and survival. I haven't actually um, unlocked the survival yet but should be uh, doing some videos on that because that sounds like it'll be quite fun. And um, yeah, this uh, you may have been wondering how I'm doing this, well I'm, uh, I've actually managed to get my hands on fraps which is pretty good. So you might see some videos from me, like uh, yeah, on obviously. some games that uh, Jake, like um, Alien Swarm. I've been Swarm. recording. Yeah. Alien Swarm, for instance. Uh, I don't know. It's a bit I messed up when Jake tries to record oh. it. So we should be doing some co-op videos on that, and I'll be recording it. Ho see, hopefully, see if it bodes a bit better for me. Also, um, if um, if you actually want to play this game, from from Steam, and if you're watching it now, I think it should still be around five pounds. It was ten percent off, but it's a really cheap game and it's worth buying. Yeah, it's an uh, indie development, uh, really good game, really fun. Uh, you know, definitely worth the five. Uh, and uh, this game should definitely uh, as um as a uh, total you may know have heard of total biscuit and he said that if you can get an hour per pound for the game you bought then it's a good deal and i sort of agree with that and i've i think already nearly done that on this game and i uh, this this company if this is the sort of game i think this is the first game in this company it's just a two man studio at the moment have made if they're the sort of people that are going to be making games of this quality then i'll I'm more than happy to support them so, it uh, is really good game. It's a really challenging game though too, because you're stressed out at it already. Oh my god, there was some mission. That, I'm not even going to get into that, Jake. We'll see it, hopefully, in the series. Now Dan will stress it out, because he can't kill something several times, and he'll restart the mission. Then he'll do it eventually, and then tell me how hard it was. It was very hard, Jake. Basically, there's this mission. You'll see it, you might see I might go up to there in our videos. It's like bloody some sort of crazy puzzle where if you hit these things you die, but it's like really hard because you have to kill things as well. I don't know, it's just really complicated. I think I, it's just because I didn't get it at first that I was having a hard time with it, but it should be fine. Oh yeah, um, yeah. another thing you get, you get jetpack. Pretty cool. Fuel uh, for the jetpack is quite limited, so I'd watch yeah, out. Well, some levels for some reason it gives you like... Yeah, for some reason yeah. it just goes mad throwing jetpack fuel at you wherever you go. Some re levels you get none. Uh, this is a a secret in the game. In the game, you will find like you you won't even be able to tell. Well, actually, I think that's a way to tell. If you just shoot it, you can shoot through it. Um, walls, and you can just walk through them, and they have like those little stars, and uh, they're secrets. And uh, the reason you get you get stars for like how fast you complete a level, how many enemies you kill, and you sort of a. Uh, a reward system I guess because when you get enough you unlock all the different arcade modes like deathmatch and survival and stuff which is a pretty good idea so it's like you know you have to have um, done a decent amount of the game to see the rest of it which is pretty uh, pretty cool and it gives some replayability to it to try and play the tools. campaign yeah even though it doesn't have co-op which we said would be great if it did 
between it's still good, play together yeah. and survive. It has you local still co-op. You're competing against your friends. Yeah, and you can plug your Xbox 360 I think I've just discovered a gun. glitch. I think I'm ah. mel I've melded with this piece of... This is definitely a glitch. This never happened to well, me Well, if you've not got your grappling hook on, and it's just pulling you into it. No, I'm just like... There's a rock trapped inside me. Ah, right. It's pretty weird. Um, sorry about this, guys. I have never seen this at all, ever. I have had no bugs, no issues with this game at all until the moment I decide to record it, which is pretty strange. Um, well, this level's over, so you just watch me, part man, part rock, stride into the distance. That is a uh, level complete, and I think that should be a... That'll be it for this uh, first video. I love the way it actually tells the storyline though. Yeah, the storyline like, is told through these uh, little pictures. pictures, which is pretty cool. So yeah, um, see you later. Yeah, I'll uh, see you later, guys. Bye.